Hey, good top of the morning to you, whosoever's. This is Tony Whosoever reporting live behind enemy lines. Today is the sixth day of October 2018. I don't know why my camera is is moving towards me. Maybe I put it too close. Um, I hope you're having a great day, guys. Uh, today we're going over Revelation chapter 21, verse 2. Uh, and again, I saw a holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Understand, guys, uh, the closer we get to the end times, when we get to the tribulation hour, I don't know why it's doing that, uh, but we'll, we'll go with it. Anyway, um, remember, guys, there's a new heaven and a new earth. Heaven from, 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 from the third heaven is going to come down to earth. Uh, it's going to kick out Satan. Satan is the god of this world. He controls the the first heaven, the second heaven, I'm sorry, and, and, and the first heaven too. Um, he controls, uh, again, uh, the kings of the earth. He controls the monetary fund. He controls, um, there's a lot of things that Satan controls, guys. You know, uh, uh, re the traditions of man, the, re the religion uh, behind the scenes. You know, guys, uh, at some point, Jesus takes him out. So, Jesus sends Michael the archangel and, and kicks him out. Remember, puts Satan um, inside, uh, inside, what, what, what is he, in? the, the, the bottomless pit, the, the, the everlasting cave, you know, all whatever it is, um, it uh, uh, causes... Uh, remember, the millennium reign is coming, but the but the Satan has been given uh, again dominion for the for the seven year tribulation. It's going to become like a prison. Uh, people are not going to want. I will not have God rule over me. And God's like, I'm the one that gives you food. I'm the one that gives you everything you have today, and you're not thankful. You know, if if anything, you you become a mocker, a murmur. Um, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is happening because I closed the door and now it's like less light, so it zooms in. But you know, guys, um, there's a new heaven and a new earth coming. Um, remember, we're not going to go into heaven to spend eternity in heaven. Heaven's going to come down to earth. Um, uh, commercials and movies make it seem that when a person dies, you know, they, they, they go to heaven and they stay there until, you know, the Lord's, you know, what does it mean the Lord's return? Where do you think he's returning to? He's returning to the earth. So don't don't believe that heaven is like heaven is like uh, where we're going to spend eternity. No, the return of the Lord is the return of God coming down to the earth. That's what's happening, guys. That's what we're waiting for. The tribulation hour, Satan, uh, basically becoming the god of this world, and then you, God is going to make you a choice. But you know, Satan is they're going to control. Oh, I wanted to show the back. I fixed the back trying to get there maybe if I open the door maybe if I open the door who knows uh, uh, but Satan is going to become the god of this world guys I mean he is the god of this world but he's going to literally become the god of this world carnally and fleshly in, the, in his son the beast of revelation uh, again guys why should this interest to you because you're about to go into your own bible story you're going to become, we're going to be part of like, you know, Noah, you know, when I watched, when I watched, read the Bible, when I, I didn't watch the movies, but the movies suck. But when I read the Bible, I think to myself, man, um, if I was there at Noah's time, I would have listened. Guys, as the times of Noah's show shall be the coming of the son of man. It just is like Noah's. Nobody wants, nobody cares. Um. It is crazy. You got lawlessness. You got infighting. You got inflation. You got lawlessness. You got a uh, um, people breaking into cars. People breaking into houses. People robbing. Uh, I think this week I've heard of three robberies of people just walking in, and someone comes to them with a gun or a knife. You know what is happening? There's lawlessness coming. Satan is is again. He's gonna come with like a, like a savior. Like you know, he's gonna bring down all this lawlessness and all this bad people, right? But in reality, but in reality, you know, he's just coming in to, to fulfill Bible prophecy concerning the end times. 
So again, New Jerusalem is coming, going to come down to earth. Uh, this is the part that should interest us because that's where we're going to we're going to spend eternity, guys. Um, I could go and prepare a place for you where I am. You may be also. Uh, I believe that in New Jerusalem there are those who of us who are the children are going to going to live. Pastor McGee says, when you talk about going to heaven, what do you think about? To most people, it's just a beautiful aisle somewhere. However, it is a definite place. It is said in Scripture, heaven it ought to be important to us because we're going to be spending there all, all our time. You know, we're not going to be at the judgment seat of Christ. We're not going to be, uh, you know, messing around. Um, uh, there's a new era coming. Um, there's a new voice. There's a new king in town. You know, the Lord is coming back. You know, flesh cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You know, uh, having the Lord Jesus Christ in your life is, should be number one. Being born again in your life should be number one. Uh, yes, you have a good job. Yes, but you can't take nothing with you. Everything you listen to this. Everything, everything you're, you're you're putting together, you can't take you can't take any of that with you. So what could you take with you? Well, you could take again your eternal soul uh, to the presence of God uh, in heaven. You know, our planet is increasingly looking like a security. You know, the only intelligent choice is to plan a jailbreak. You know what? That's what the rapture is. We're out of here. You know, we'll be dressed in white. You know, we'll be a, a new, new creation. We'll be, we will put on eternity, eternally. You know, we're going to have the mind of Christ. You know, when the new era comes, the Bible says in uh, chapter 3, uh, cha verse 3 and 4 of chapter 21 says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. Again, the tabernacle of God is, oh, check out my, I had this, uh, the end of the age. <laughs> whoa, whoa, see, look at my phone. Look at, that's crazy, bro. The end of the age is going to bring judgment. That's crazy. It went over there. I am I am not part of this. It's the, it's the ghost of future past. Uh, again. And I heard a great voice saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he shall dwell with them, and he shall be with, the, with his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. So, again, guys, uh, God is going to come down to earth. He's going to bring heaven down to earth, the new heaven and the new earth. Uh, again, and then uh, the people who, who, who take the who, people who take the mark of the beast are going to spend eternity in hell in the lake of fire. So don't do it, come on. Listen to your old your older homeboy. I'm trying to tell you straight up. You know, there's a there's you know there's way more over here, bro. Uh, don't give up those three and a half years just to be able to eat uh, and, and and waste eternity in hell. Hell no. Hell no to hell. Hell no to hell. God shall be with his people, and his people shall be with God. And he will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and they shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall be any more pain, for the former things have passed away again, guys. No, no more crying. You know, no more crying. No more death. No more sorrow. No more. He says, crying again, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For for the formal things have passed away, guys. This world is passing away, carnal. Everything that's in this world, the things tangible, the things we could keep, you know, the houses. You know, I realized I did, I'm kind of crazy. I'm crazy, bro. But I realized that, you know, I, I look up and goes, how, how long is a house in America meant to last? And most houses are meant to last no more than 75 to 100 years before you have to you know tear it down or or fix it or put a new wall because the wood and everything doesn't um, last that long but the loans are 30 years in 30 years some of the like this house i live my parents live in it's like 70 what 70 1970 so it's almost 53 years old so you got about 20 years 20 to 40 years on the house before you have to, you know, to either tear it down or redo it again and fix it and put new wood and, you know. But again, guys, the new heaven and the new earth that is coming, this is from the Lord. It's from above. It's going to last forever. It's, it's made to last. You know, your bodies will be made, made to last. You know, 
you shall have again no more pain behold the tabernacle of God is with men that's what the Bible says in the Old Testament guys by the way the tabernacle of God is with men we are told by John chapter 1 verse 14 and the word was made flesh and dwelt pitched his tent among us the flesh was crucified on the cross and he was raised in the glorified body we too are going to have glorified bodies and we are going to live with him in the New Jerusalem, the golden streets is not really important. What difference does it make what kind of asphalt you walk on? It is important to know that psychologically and spiritually values that you are there in the presence of God. You have, you have uh, ended well. You, know? you have finished the race. You know, guys, are you going to finish the race? Or, are you go or, or does Satan, the God of this world, have you, again, um, have you locked up in prison in bondage to the things of the world the cares of this life uh, again guys um, i love a good movie like anybody else but if i all i do is watch movies you know i'm missing a lot of the opportunities i can to share the gospel and to win those uh, to, the lost uh, to christ uh, oh. <laughs> i love it i love it i'm like i don't know why my camera is doing that uh, i think it because the osbot program is on I think so guys um, but we run with it guys we run with it but go but they shall be his people and God himself shall be with him and he will be their God certainly things that definitely are prominent today are going to be removed God shall wipe away every tear from the eyes says Pastor McGee a columnist years ago wrote for every light that burns on Broadway there is a broken heart Every several times my wife and I have driven up to Hollywood Hills and have looked down on the blanket of light which is Hollywood. I have said to my wife, for every light down there there's a broken heart. There are many a sad and lonely persons in this world. But in New Jerusalem there's not going to be any more tears. And death shall be no more. What is going to be a very marvelous improvement since we are going to be reading this chapter, the number of funeral possessions have taken place. People are dying all the time. There is a continued march to the cemetery. This earth is going to be nothing in the world but a cemetery at one point. I once knew an engineer who in his early days had a great deal to do with planning and plotting of the great freeways which cross crisscross the country today, I asked him. Is it going to over the mountains or down through the valleys or crossing the rivers that is the biggest problem for you? He replied, the biggest problem is missing, missing the cemeteries. This earth is a great cemetery today. But all of that is going to end. There will be no buying or burying around in the New Jerusalem. The undertaker will be out of business. Even the doctors are going to be out of business because there's not going to be any crying. Neither there should be any more pain for the former things again have passed away. So again, guys. The closer we get to the end times, the closer we get to the things that the Lord is prophesying, understand that the greatest gifts, the eternal life, the new body, the presence of God, heaven on earth, is before us. The tribulation hour is gaining speed. Don't be surprised that uh, the nation be divided. Watch what happens in our nation as it be divided. Divided only to fall again, guys. Remember the person the Bible says that what's who is going to rise in the collapse of the economies is Russia, Turkey, and Iran, Ethiopia, Sudan, Syria, Lebanon will come into Syria only to be destroyed for the rise of the king of the north to come into the king of the south, Saudi Arabia, to protest. So the rise of the king of the west, the Antichrist comes, who I believe is going to be Obama, and he's going to win. Wars, the government, the world's governments are going to be divided into ten regions, ten kings, one king over them, and they're going to be puppets to the beast of revelation. They're going to put a mark in the new economy, digital cashless society, are going to be a mark. They're going to put a mark in your right hand and in your forehead. This is what the Bible says, guys. This is what the Bible says. We are heading into the end times. You know. You need to be about the Father's business because the closer we get, 
The closer we get, the Antichrist and the false prophet will require everyone to receive a mark, name or number, and the Antichrist in the right hand or forehead. The original health care, H.R. 3200, requires everyone to be chipped and authorizes the government to put anything on that chip that it deems appropriate. President Obama supports this. And again, guys, oh, this is another thing. If you calculate the day Obama was born to the day he left office, he was 55 years old, 5 months and 16 days. We are about 7 years after he left office, but he never left Washington, D.C., I believe that the collapse and the, the reforming of the new government and the revived Roman Empire, because if we're following numbers, 12 and 13, he's the 13th, just like Jesus. So we're about seven, I'm thinking in less than five years, seven, for five years, in less than five years, the collapse, 2023, so 2027, 28, the collapse of the world, economies, uh, uh, the, 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 the rise of the 10 kings, you know, just to see if, if, if him going from the date of birth to the day he left office, 55 years old, 5 months. Remember, 555 is the number of Christ in the Bible, but it's also the height of the Washington Monument, 555 feet, which is 6,666 inches. The width of the Washington Monument is 55.5 feet, which is 666 feet. Uh, they're waiting for the beast of Revelation. I believe Obama was born again in Hawaii, Honolulu, the state of Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii is really, really the, one of the biggest mountains in America, you know. He is the tip. Uh, is, I, is Hawaii just the tip of a mountain, underwater mountain? It is the biggest mountain? Who knows? But we know that the closer we head into the end times, God is marked. Remember, he being the 555, which I believe he is, he became president with on 2009 with 111 session of Congress 111 session of Congress. 111 and 555 makes 666. I think we're... God is marking him, guys. We'll find out. Remember, the word Barak, concordance number 1300 plus 666 equals, equals Hebrew concordance 1966, which is the word Hallel, which means Lucifer. So, Barak, concordance number 1300, you know, means lightning. Bible says about his image, the image of his name. I believe his image of his name is going to be a lightning bolt. Don't be surprised that his soldiers have lightning bolts on them. Um, the image of his name. Don't. Uh, I seen the police cameras, guys. You see that? Uh, Taser has a big lightning bolt. I was like, Barack, that's Barack right there. On the police departments. I'm telling you guys, I, I think weird. I think different. I think outside the box. I don't know when, when God gave me these things, but I, I believe that being a light and assault means to tell people what I believe that God is telling me to tell the folks of the people of this world. Again, um, that uh, the light, the light of, of, of man's dominion of controlling the world uh, is really coming to an end. Uh, the church age is coming to an end. The beast of revelation is going to rise. And we're going to see a lot of chaos, turmoil with the Bible cause. Uh, because with the, the, the rise of the beast comes the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The dirty five. The dirty five. You know. So again, guys, I hope to uh, uh, remember, guys. It's not about getting views, but it's about telling people. And so, when the tribulation hour does come, maybe God will use these messages to encourage people to not a not take the mark of the beast. Um, even you see, even the ducks don't take the mark of the beast. Don't take a. Uh, uh, don't believe that God don't exist. Don't believe that uh, uh, this world has anything for you, guys. This world has nothing for you. You know, but people say only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. Only God can judge me. You know, but that should scare you, bro, because you don't want God's judgment. You want the blood of the Lamb. You want the the, the righteousness of God imputed on you uh, when you come to faith and you're born again. That is the that is the way. That is the way. Uh, Jesus says, I am the truth, the life, and the way. No one can come to the Father except through me. Don't believe it that Mary will save you. Don't believe that the saints will save you. Don't believe that the Eucharist will save you. Don't believe that the sacraments will save you. It's your faith in what God did. You know, how does God reveal himself? Through a picture? No, he reveals himself through his word. Uh, again, guys, um, 
we the, the closer we get to the end times, the closer we need to be about the Father's business. Remember, the harvest is much, but the laborers are few. I hope you get your butt in gear, start reading the Bible more, and allowing God. Tomorrow we're going to go over Revelation chapter 21, verse 5, uh, where he talks about, And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said unto me, Write these words that are true and faithful. Remember, God's word is the most truest and faithful thing in the world. That's why I have it all over my tattoos. You know, I got the Ten Commandments here too. Guys, check it out. The Ten Commandments, and then I have the crucifixion. So it's called a silhouette. I don't know what Jesus looks like, but that's kind of like a silhouette. You know, Exodus chapter twenty, verse one through seventeen: Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make any graven images. Thou shalt not make take thy name of the Lord thy God in vain. Remember thy Sabbath and keep it holy. And then, what is it? Honor thy father and thy mother. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not, let's say, thou shalt not false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And what is that one? Mom, can you come here for a minute? No. No. You got tomatoes in your hands. You got tomatoes in your hands. Oh, and they have the Ark of the Covenant no, right there. Mom, can you see? Can you read what it says here? Oh, never mind. You're 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 a walking ketchup. But anyway, guys, we're getting old. We can't see as good as we used to. It's, it's kind of hard, too. You're looking through a camera through a reverse thing. Um, but anyway, guys, get it, get into the Father's business. Uh, understand that the Lord's return is at hand. We are, going, we are heading into the end times. You better be born again. You better start reading God's Word. Um, start trusting the Bible. So for me, for me if you ever want to sponsor me... So, God bless you guys. I hope this message goes out. Uh, new heaven and new earth. In the nombre de Jesucristo. Amen.